Hey everyone, uh, this is a new lesson video for Mercenaries by Angels and Airwaves on guitar. And this is sort of my version of how to play it. Um, the actual song may vary a little bit. I mean, I think I got pretty damn close. Um, but I also threw in, like, mostly the intro is, uh, I don't think the intro is actually guitar, but I'm playing it on guitar. And... I might have played some of the little things uh, just a hair differently, but I think it sounds like it fits. So this, I'm just going to show you how I played it in the cover that I posted already, and um, hopefully enjoy. And if uh, if you think it's a little bit different, then feel free to just use this as you know a starting point to try and figure out uh, how to do it. So anyway, because I'm playing that intro part, it has to be in drop D unless you want to play that part on the the other D string, the third string, or I guess you call it the fourth string, because yeah, one, two, three, four. Um, but anyway, it's, you can play it with a pick if you really want to, but I don't like to do it because it sounds a lot cleaner without it, but you have to have some finger strength to do it, so it might take a little bit of practice. Anyway, it sounds like this. <laughs> I said you could play it on the other D string and completely leave uh, the tuning in standard if you really wanted to but I like playing in in drop D anyway it's more fun for me um, but if I didn't say it already this I'm playing it in drop D so um, if you wanted to do it that way you could play it and it'll sound like this <laughs> So, before I uh, talk about what the actual tab is for that, um, <clears throat> I like to note that while I'm playing it, I start off with my right hand. Like I, I pluck that first note just to get me uh, just to get me started. And what I do with my right hand, other than that, is I start more or less in a palmy position just to kind of mute everything, and so that the sound isn't so in your face. Um, because it's it slowly starts to build up once Tom starts singing and once you get into the verse and everything so I like to start off like right after the I do the with my right hand just muting it and pretty much everything just coming from how hard I'm hitting the strings so I'm slowly taking my hand off to make it sound bigger and I'm also hitting a little bit harder as I'm hammering on so it, it'll sound like this you get the idea um, so anyway the tab for that is basically zero it you're doing you're doing hammer-ons in like pairs so the first one is zero you're just hitting that open D note and you're doing a hammer-on onto the two and then from the two to the four so but then every other note is going to be an open D so what you're gonna have to do is pull off um, of whatever note you're landing on as you're going up the neck a little hard to get that open to really resonate a bit more so and what you're gonna be doing after the zero two four you're going zero or yeah zero four five and then five seven then seven nine and then you're doing an open and then 9, 11, 12, which is 3. It's it's a little bit more than the rest of them. And from that 12, you're hammering or you're pulling off a little hard to start off that open note again to start over again. So slowly it'll sound like this. So 
like I said, it's 0, two, zero two four, zero four five, zero five seven, zero seven nine, zero nine eleven twelve. 0, 0, 9, 11, 12. So, you just keep repeating that. And after that, a lot of times, I don't even want to know how many times, it gets pretty tiring for sure. Um, then it just starts on the verse, which is, the, the beginning of it's pretty simple. You're just doing a, a palm mute on a five on the A string. If you want to do an open D string, you could, but this, the string's a little heavier and it sounds a little fuller. And I think it sounds better to do it there. You could do all downstrokes if you really wanted to. If you can handle doing that fast, I don't really like to. Um, it, it might sound a little cleaner. Um, so after you do that for um, a couple measures, you'll hear it go. So that part changes slightly each time. And basically just the last chord, <coughs> excuse me, and it goes, so that first chord, it, they're, they're both octave chords, and it goes two, uh, you're muting the D string, and then a four on the G, so, and then you're sliding up to a five and a seven on the A and the G string, and then back down to that same chord, two and the four. And then after that, you're just doing two power chords. You're doing four, 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 which is simple enough, and then five, five, five. But then what I like to do is, on that first time around, go from the fours to the five, and then back to a four and a five. Um, it's kind of here in the oh, not here. It's kind of hard to hear in the song, but I, it sounds like he's doing something similar to that. Maybe not. Maybe he's just doing a four to the five, and that's it. Um, because the second time around, he's definitely doing just the fours to the five. So. <laughs> That's how I play it. Uh, simple enough, I think. Um, just, just a couple power chords and octave chords. After you do that a couple times the first time through, um, it goes to this like pre-chorus type part. And it goes like this. And that first time, it just goes straight into the chorus after that. and the the second time around, um, after you play like the intro or whatever, um, you play that part actually twice. And it goes, you start as a five on the A string. And then I like to go up to a nine on the A string, or you could do a four on the D. I just, I just like it. Uh, I like playing more on the A string just because it's a little fuller. Uh, like I mentioned before. So five, nine, and then I go up to a seven on the D. Like I said before, I could go up to a 12 if I wanted to. It's up to you, but I feel like getting so high up here uh, for some people that aren't like super fast, um, might be hard to go down here as, as quick to get to the next note, which is a two, four, five, seven, and nine. So it goes like this. And like I said, right after that, it goes into the chorus, which is just four simple chords. It goes like this. <laughs> Um, so, it's just simple power chords, it's a 2, 4, and a 4, starting in the A string, and then it goes up to a D, which is a 5, 7, 7, but I like to add in that open D string, that, that low string, just to give it a little more fullness to it. 
and then you're staying pretty much in that same position, but you're doing a five on the low string, another five, another five on uh, the next two strings, and then a seven on the G string. So, and that's pretty much just a power chord, but uh, with some added octave to it, just to make it sound a bit fuller. So, fuller is the word of the day, apparently. So. Uh, that third chord, like I said, is... And then you're staying in that same structure um, with the first three staying the same and the next one being the octave, but you're going down to the, uh, the second position, and it's two, two, two on the first three strings and a four on the G string. So all together... last note of that chorus is just just an open uh, D chord just rung out simple enough uh, and you go to the verse again pre-chorus chorus and then a softer bridge part and that goes like this chorus so I like to think of that as two main parts because it's pretty much just two different parts <laughs> I guess um, so it starts on an 11 on the G string and I think you're just doing eighth notes and then you're going up to a 14 and then a 12 and then back to the 11 all on the G string, and then you're going to a 12 on the D string, and then a couple note, a couple notes before you start over, it goes to a 14 on the D string. So, and then it just repeats. Um, so you do that twice, and then you go to, you start on the same note again, actually. And then you go up to a 14 again. And then back to the 11. And then 12 on the D string. And that's it. So it goes back into the chorus from there. And you play the chorus more often than the rest of the song. I think you might play it like four times through or something. And you just kind of have to listen to it. I'm even still really remembering how many times you're playing it. And... Um, and it just ends, you know, on the open, big open D. Which I actually landed on the wrong note for my cover. But that's neither here nor there. So um, that's really it to the song. It's, it's simple. It's pretty fun. Especially when you add in that little intro part. I think doing that makes the first minute a lot more fun. And um, if you don't do that, it's like you're just kind of sitting around for a minute. So... I, I like doing it. If you have any questions or comments or anything, feel free to let me know. Um, I know I didn't write the tabs down, but I hope I explained it well enough that you don't really need them. And that's about it. So thanks for watching. And if uh, you really, really want me to do some other Angels and Airways songs from the new album, feel free to let me know, and uh, I'll do my best to help. A lot of the songs don't have a lot of guitar in it, so I might just be doing some... Like, what if this song had a guitar solo or whatever videos instead of just full covers? So, I don't know. We'll see what happens, and uh, thanks for watching.